the classical period was an era of music that spanned from 1730 to 1820. In the middle of the 18th century, Europe began to move towards a new style in architecture, literature, and the arts, generally known as classicism. This style sought to mirror the ideals of classical antiquity, the period of cultural history between the 8th century BC and the 5th or 6th century AD. It was centered around ancient Greece and ancient Rome, an area known as the Greco-Roman world. The classical period also coincided with the Age of Enlightenment, a time of radical change in social values focused on human rights and freedom of religion. Classical music placed a strong emphasis on order and organization. In contrast with the music of the Baroque era, classical music moved towards simplicity rather than complexity. Music had brighter contrasts and bigger distinctions between loud and soft. Beauty, elegance, and balance replaced complexity. The nobility became the primary patrons of instrumental music, while the public taste increasingly preferred lighter, funnier fare. <laughs> To put it simply, audiences wanted something they could hum along to, and that's exactly what they got. The classical period is sometimes referred to as the era of Viennese classic, since so many composers all worked or lived in Vienna, Austria. You know what else was set in Austria? The Sound of Music. The big names of the classical period included Schubert, C.P.E. Bach, Gluck, Mendelssohn, Haydn, and Salieri. But the two real rock star composers were Mozart and Beethoven. Mozart was a child prodigy. At the age of three, he was picking out chords on the harpsichord. At the age of four, he was playing short pieces, and at the age of five, he was finally composing. Just before he was six, his father took him and his sister to Germany to play at the court, and a few months later, they went to Vienna and were heard at the imperial court. He embarked on a world tour with his family and became famous for his skill in improvisation, making up music on the spot with no prior practice or rehearsal. Though he was, and still is, considered a genius, he was also tactless, arrogant, and had a very bizarre sense of humor. There's even a movie based on his life. Beethoven's music dealt with deep emotions and political affairs. It was heavier and composed on a much larger scale. He increased the size of the orchestra, and his pieces grew to mammoth proportions. Unfortunately, Beethoven began going deaf towards the end of his life. He continued to compose, but found it increasingly difficult to conduct his own pieces. When he died in 1820, he not only left a legacy on the classical period, he basically began the next period. The music he composed towards the end of his life was so new and revolutionary that it had to be called something different. Something a little bit more romantic. The leading keyboard instruments of the Baroque period were slowly being replaced by a new revolutionary instrument called the pianoforte. Invented as early as 1698 by Cristofori in, you guessed it, Italy, the piano struck strings with leather-covered hammers when its keys were pressed. This was vastly different from the harpsichord, which made music by its strings being plucked. This innovation allowed the performer to play louder and softer whenever they wanted. As a result, they could play with more expression. A few other instruments were introduced to the concert scene. The horn, trumpet, clarinet, flute, and oboe. The orchestra began to increase in size, range, and power. As woodwind instruments got better and more versatile, they established their own section in the orchestra. Bassoons and kettle drums also began to be used by more composers, and clarinets were popularized by Mozart. A new kind of instrumental music in the classical period was the sonata, 
a work in several movements for one to five instruments. The number of people in the ensemble dictated the name of the group, trio, quartet, or quintet. Other kinds of instrumental music included the string quartet, concerto, and, most importantly, the symphony, a sonata for orchestra in four movements. Vocal music, choral works, and opera were very important during this period. Folk songs, or songs for a singer and piano, became popular, but opera still reigned supreme. Mozart himself wrote several operas, including The Marriage of Figaro, The Magic Flute, and Don Giovanni. And to make a long story short, too late. Classicism inspired classical music and those cool-looking columns on big houses. The general public wanted music that they could hum along to with content that made them laugh. Me fail English? That's impossible. Vienna was the center of the classical period. Mozart was a child star and had a weird sense of humor. <laughs> Beethoven was moody and couldn't hear. Harpsichord out, <laughs> piano in. New instruments flooded the orchestra, which grew to the size of a flash mob. 